So it's that time of year again, and like all things, what better way to hunt monsters on Monster Hunter than to dress up and give a friendly yet brutal presence to everyone, as the local legend Santa Claus. Now, with this mix set, I'm going to focus around the Christmassy theme as best as possible for the build, with explanations as to why certain things are done, but I won't make it too long, I promise. So prepare for a very long, fun, and slightly twisted Monster Hunter build for those for the festive season. So let's keep this simple, for this build you're going to be playing as Santa Claus of the new world, so you're expected to fit the build by dressing up as him. Now thanks to the new Orion set that looks heavily similar to Santa's gear and has some decent skills and slots, we can make use of it and make our lives a lot easier with doing it there and then, though a bit of grinding of course is required. However, we're not going to be using the Orion set as armor pieces, but instead the Orion layered armor to give us the freedom of choosing whatever skills we want and yet still fit the theme of the set. Now the next step is the weapon, and boy oh boy, the Santa is going the more violent path for all those naughty monsters, and hunters of course. What I mean is A, he's going to be using a very large weapon to slay monsters, and B, it's going to be a sleep based weapon since he's known for showing up when you're asleep, which sounds creepy and surprising as to no one has made mention of it yet. Now you can also go with ice weapons as well, as there's no theme, does fit very well for Santa Claus, but the lack of monsters not weak to ice is very high and limited, so it's kind of up to you where you want to go with this. So I've chosen two choices of weapons to try out, which I believe would fit the bill if Santa was a hunter. We have weapon A, Radaban Slab 2 Greatsword, which has an attack of 912, which is 190 true raw, 270 sleep status that maxes out 310, and also comes with 20 defense. Its sharpness can't reach wiped and only maxes out at blue, and is one of the best sleeper based greatswords for sleep bombing max damage shenanigans in game. Considering how freely available all of its stats are, you'll be able to pick this weapon up the moment you craft it and put it on for whatever damage based sets you create, with little to no further investments needed to expand on it. Next, we have weapon B, the Crushing Beak Free Hammer, which has an attack of 884, 170 true raw, 360 hidden sleep that maxes out at 440 and 25% built-in infinity. More stronger stat-wise compared to the Radman Slab 2, offering an impressive amount of built-in sleep to knock those poor monsters to sleep, while also supporting a free 25% infinity buff, making plenty room free for you to mix and match. The only downside of this weapon is that its sleep needs to be unlocked for it to be fully utilised, which depending on how far you go, gear-wise, may not be possible and best for you to stick with the slab instead. Now personally, depending on what you're after and how you build around it, both weapons are just as viable for the set no matter what you choose, so if you want extra damage, free sleep status, and more room for creative skills, then the slab can serve you well. While if you want higher sleep build up, extra affinity, white sharpness at max, and the ability to use KO monsters on the whim, then the hammer is the ultimate choice. I want the hammer because it seems a bit more fitting for the Santa build. Now for the creme de la creme, the mix set. There is only three things you need to remember for building around it. Higher damage, 
high status buildup, and explosions. This is all you need to focus around, as these will offer you the necessary skills for the creative style of the build. So, here we go. Handicraft 5 to max the weapon's sharpness to hit white, which is surprisingly something I never actually knew the weapon could reach, but there you go, learn more thing, new things every day. Critical I4 for 15% infinity, sleep 3 to max out our sleep to 440, free element 3 to unlock our hammer sleep status, weakness exploit 3 for the standard plus 50 infinity upon bombs weak points, bombard 3 to increase our bombs for the sleep bombing tactics, and focus 1, which is a leftover skill and doesn't really have that much effect at level 1. Now, with everything combined, it will give you 962 attack and 185 true war, including talons, etc. 440 sleep status, 90% affinity, and max defense, which will vary between everyone and depending on how far you max out your current armor set that you use. So now we have the weapon and the armor set, plus skills combined to create the ultimate Santa. And now you want to test this bad boy out on all the naughty monsters in game, right? Then, by all means, go crazy, as you have a great amount of damage coming for your main weapon, with it fluctuating around 70 to 100 ranges depending on areas hit. You have maxed out sleep build up, which after a few hits will put the monster into a deep sleep, dreaming of the presents they'll get, and of course the presents. How can we forget? Once they're asleep, you want to sneakily place these presents next to them, so that when they wake up, they'll be full of glee at what they see. And then of course you blow it up, as the presents are actually bombs, and the monsters will kill you no matter how nice you are. But ultimately, this set offers sleep bombing or KO bombing, which yes, is a thing if you're quick enough, but with a simple twist this time round, which I hope you find some kind of silly enjoyment out of. Whether you use this in groups or on your own, this set provides you with style, damage and fun, which to me is what everyone should aim for and consider when building around an entire mix set. So yeah, that's the end of the video, and that's the end of the build. I hope you guys enjoyed it, as I plan to do more of these kind of similar cosplays at Best. In the near future, I've got a few ideas that I want to expand on, but I want to expand my content a bit more over the Monster Hunter world variety. Except from focusing on the builds, I also want to focus on other areas and aspects as well. So pay close attention in 2019, which I hope to bring more new content and more Monster Hunter in the near future. But anyways, if you guys enjoy the content and the build, then do leave a like, a sub for more. And also, do press that bell button to stay always updated to when I upload. And so I appreciate a lot if you do, and it helps me out. But like always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys again soon.